working through a process of forgiveness uh, under submission to the Lord. Yeah. And it's really independent of her relationship with her parents, yeah. right? Because this is a, a common confusion we see, and that's the confusion between forgiveness and reconciliation. Okay. Yeah. You can forgive someone and not mm -hmm. be reconciled to them. That Absolutely. Is, you can forgive someone. That's a vertical thing between you mm -hmm. and God. It's, it's something where you find spiritual peace. You free yourself mm -hmm. from bitterness, from being bound up in it, right? Yeah. Um, you free yourself from that, but that person may not be a safe person. Right. You and may, so that comes just, the other part. It may not be prudent right. to have very much interaction with them or as much as you did before. It may not be prudent to be around them at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people are just, they'll, they'll, they'll hurt you, you know? Yeah, so, exactly. so you can forgive them before the Lord, mm -hmm. but not be reconciled to them. Right. And that's such an important distinction because people feel like, Oh. Um, forgiveness means that they have to put themselves in danger. That's well, not true. And abusers That's use forgiveness yeah. as a way to get mm -hmm. you hooked back into yeah. them. Haven't so, you forgiven me for that? Yeah. yeah. What's the matter with you? You yeah, know, yeah, you, yeah. you're, you're holding grudges because you haven't forgiven me. And I, I, I've gotten that from, so, so I've gotten that from family members yeah. from my parents. And I, so the other aspect of this was Lord. Okay. So how can I be safe? I, 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 I want to respect them, you know, in my interactions with them, but I need to be safe. And so that, that was a discussion, an ongoing discussion that I've had to basically evaluate as the years have, have gone by of, you know, and, and we would have talks sometimes before going to a family event. When I give the signal, we are out of there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, there, there've been certain boundaries, like our kids are never alone with uh, certain family members. Um, they're just supervised if we're going to have visits, some periods of time I've had to stop visits altogether because mental health issues have reared their head. And so we've had to take a step back. And so basically I, that's been an ongoing evaluation of what are the boundaries that I need in order to stay safe, you know, and even, even going so far as I am sustaining too much damage, just having basic interactions with this person, I need to step back and take a break. And it, it's not about anger and it's not yeah. about speaking the truth or trying to it's convince not, it's them. It's not coming from a place of bitterness, lack of forgiveness, yeah. anything like that. Yeah. It's just making the right decision before the Lord. Right. For you, your marriage, your family. Right. That, right. that basically the, the best way for me to honor and respect them is from afar because I, I can't be involved and, and be giving them grace and, and speak the truth in love. And you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm protecting myself from sinning. I'm protecting them from my anger. And I'm also protecting myself from their sin, you know? And, and so, and again, I, yeah, a lot, so, there's so a lot of great I just area. want to restate what you just said. Yeah. I had had that in my mind to say, yeah. you, you, you honor someone. Here's something someone told me that was really helpful in a difficult family relationship I have. They said, sometimes what you're doing is for a, a, a hoped for future relationship. Mm -hmm. That is, yeah. Yeah. get extricate yourself so that you stop taking damage so much that you like cannot stand this person anymore. You know, like, like get, get out of the toxic situation right. with the hope that you can have a better relationship with them someday. And rather than having built up uh, you know, a huge catalog of all the things they did to you because you stayed there for it. Mm -hmm. Just get out, mm -hmm. pray for them, hope for the best. Maybe the Lord will do something amazing. You'll be able to um, re-engage with them without a long track record of having sat around and let them beat you up, right? <laughs> In one way or another. Um, so so uh, it, it is it is a form of, it can be a form of loving and honoring yeah. someone to say, you're not in a, we're not in a place where we can have a good relationship right mm -hmm. now. That That's just not going to happen right now. I would like to be reconciled to everybody. That's what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. And as much as is in you, be get along with everybody, right? right? I'd like to be reconciled with you. I hope we are someday. Mm -hmm. That day is not today. Not today, right. That's okay. That can be honoring. That can be loving. It can be a much more loving thing than to be codependent with someone and mesh with them where you're just eh, yeah. in, a, in a tussle with them all the time. That's not doing anyone any good, not advancing. It's not constructive. It's not healing. It's not good. It's just making everybody 
hate each other, you know? Right. And so I, I, I want to just, uh, cause we're limited on time today. We're yeah. doing something really special. We're going to take our kids to the movies, which we which don't do much. We don't do cause it's so expensive. And anyway, so I, I will say that when we obey God, then there's fruit. There's fruit that can come out of that spiritual fruit that can come out of that. So the spiritual fruit that has come out of me obeying God and keeping my mouth shut and, mm -hmm. and not constantly confronting, confronting, not that there have never been confrontations. There have been, there have been yeah. but it's been prayerful. It's been respectful. I've spoken mm -hmm. the truth in a loving way. It's been honoring. It's been honoring because yeah. honestly, Con confrontation can be very respectful. Okay. I mean, you are coming, if you're coming from a place of, look, um, you're an adult and I am going to speak the truth and love to you to, to, to help prevent you from sinning more, you know, <laughs> um, right. that can, you know, but again, these, these all, you need to be in prayer about all this. So yeah, yeah. it has, uh, so the fruit that I have seen, um, from the obedience is that I've been able to give the gospel on numerous occasions to my parents through how I've lived my life. The stability of our marriage, the stability of our family life, the behavior of our children because of the stability mm -hmm. have all been a witness to my parents. Okay. Um, my, both my mother and my biological father came and saw me baptized which is like mind blowing. Yeah, they're both there. Okay, so they literally heard the gospel and they have seen the fruit, they've seen the fruit of the spirit in my life. My mom has said to me in astonishment as she sees me dealing with my children, she just looked at me one time and said, how did you learn to be this patient with your children? I was not this patient with you. <laughs> so number one, she was confessing. That's true, yeah. Okay. So she with, was with that, without you prompting doing, her doing your sarcastic thing. At so her, she was, she came out with that. She, and I, you yeah. know, and again, it was not my job to help her take the next steps to mm -hmm. heal in that. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, you know, I was able to say, well, you know, I, I really submitted every aspect of my life to the Lord and, and he taught me how to be patient with my children, you know? So yeah. um, I'd be able to witness in that way. And I've even seen with a, another parent um, some of the first fruits of, of repentance, um, this parent mentioned that they might be writing a letter to myself and my siblings, maybe talking about their side of things in the childhood. So I don't know if that's ever going to come to fruition. I don't know if I'll ever see it, but, but praise God, you know, that yeah. maybe there's some fruit. It takes some people longer than others to come to the truth and to come to faith. And, and honestly, it's really none of my business. My business is to obey God, you know, right. and, you know, their business is to, to work out their own salvation and, and stuff. Yeah, so, and I, I love what you said earlier. You, you, you were not to be the Holy spirit to your parents, right? No. That, that, that is, um, God does call us mm -hmm. to, um, uh, be in other people's lives and, and sometimes to do challenging things. Um, yeah. but he calls us to what he calls us to and no more. That's right. Because, um, we're part of a team. Mm -hmm. When you serve God, mm -hmm. you're not alone. Mm -hmm. Part of your team is Jesus, mm -hmm. the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Right? Right, right. Part of your team are other believers. Yeah. God uses circumstances. Um, in the scriptures, God uses secular kings to do his will sometimes. And you never know, God uses right? Whom he uses. God uses whom he uses. And, and you need to figure out what you're called to do in the situation and then stop. That's right. And and you this is the Sabbath principle. Mm -hmm. Rest, rest in the Lord. That's right. Let him take it from there. Yeah. Did you do your duty? Did you do what he called you to do? Mm -hmm. Then your conscience is clean. That's right. And that may not mean that you get the result you would like. You wish this person would come to the faith. You wish this person would grow up, whatever. Get sober. <laughs> get, get sober, yeah. That may not come about. That's yeah. out of your control. But that's okay. Because yeah. you're not God. He's God. And so right. having done all this work, when my father died, my sister and I were able to step up and bury him and, and give yeah. him a funeral. Yeah. And it was very honoring. And yeah, and, and yeah. honor him in that way, you know, and, and we both felt good about it. And we didn't yeah. feel the need to talk about all the horrible things he did. Yeah. You know, we just we just 
we went through the motions of honoring him and then we released him to the Lord. And I will say one other thing, and then I know you've got a story and then it's, it's almost. Well, so go, yeah. so I, I will say that there, there were conflicts with Stephen's parents involving me <clears throat> where there were some bad choices on, on their part. And I remember it was, it was pretty bad and I was pretty wounded. And, and I remember the Lord telling me, let them save face. And so again, again, when I came to the Lord with, but, 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 you know, he again said, be quiet, be still and know that I am God and I will be exalted in the heavens and I will be exalted. So again, he very quickly, the Lord very quickly said to me, this is not for you to deal with. And I think the reason that his yoke is easy and his burden is light is because he gives us very specific things to do. Right. And it's when we step out of that. Yeah. It was not my job to confront Stephen's parents. The Lord was taking care of them. And so he knew what had gone on and I needed to be quiet and be still. And that was not doing nothing. That was obeying God. That was submitting to God. Right. And it was difficult and it took yeah. effort. Right. right? Um, and then you had a really neat story. Yeah, I just, I just want to repeat the repeat what I said earlier. A, a, a lot of the times, what what trusting the Lord means is getting out of the way. Yeah, we want to fix it. We want to get the credit. We have an ego issue here. We feel mm -hmm. hurt, and we want payback. Damn right. it! <laughs> right. Uh, um, and, and, and the anger and, is righteous. And, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, come on. You know? But but it, but the scriptures say. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So bring it yeah. to the Lord and tell him, like David did in the Psalms, God, I am so angry at these people. I wish you would smash their teeth in and all that stuff. Smite my enemies from Smite here. my enemies, you know. <laughs> bring it to the Lord. That anger is not wrong. You know, express it to the Lord and then give it, give it over to him fully and right. say, God, do what you're going to do with these people because I can't take it anymore, you know? Um, okay, so I just want to share one more story from a friend, actually. Um, in high school, I spent